In this video we're going to actually solve a system of linear equations by graphing them on the graphing calculator. And we'll use the intersect function on the calculator to find the intersect point. Now the first thing you're going to do is to go into your Y editor which is right here. You're going to click on that button and that will bring up uh, this screen in your calculator. One thing you want to make sure is that none of these plot 1, plot 2, plot 3's are turned on. If they're highlighted you need to scroll up to them and click on them, hit enter and that will turn them off because that will mess up your graphing. Now you're going to have to have your, your equations, both of your equations in MX plus B format, in your slope intercept format, so they must be solved for Y. Well the two equations that we're going to use today, the first one is Y equals negative 3X plus 2, so I will put in negative 3X plus 2 and hit enter. And then I want to graph the second equation on the same grid. So I'm going to put it in as y2 and that equation is going to be y equals 5x minus 14. So I will put in 5x minus 14 and now we're going to graph, but I want to make sure that I'm graphing it in a standard window. So you can hit your zoom key, and standard, if you notice, is 6. So we will click on the number 6, and that will bring us to our graph. And we see our lines forming there, and we see an intersect point. So this is a system of equations that has one solution, one ordered pair solution. Now let's see if we can figure out what that ordered pair solution is. We're going to use something called the calc um, function in your calculator. It's above the trace key, so we're going to hit second trace, and you'll notice that number 5 is the intersect function. So we're going to hit number 5, and the calculator comes up and asks us about the first curve, which is that first line that we've graphed. It's blinking on it, and yes, that is our first curve, so we're going to hit Enter. Um, looks like we've lost our cursor, so we're going to have to scroll some and see where our cursor is, and here it comes. Now the cursor is on the other line, so it is the second curve, so we're going to hit enter again to tell the calculator yes, it's on the second curve. And now we're going to make a guess as to what that point is, so we just want to scroll to that point, and get as close as we can, and hit enter again, and this gives us our solution. The intersection is uh, 2, negative 4, and you can go back and use that in both of those equations and check it as we did in some of the other uh, websites.